Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to Amy Winehouse. This clip is from a live performance in 2007, and the song is Back to Black. Here we go. the end. so many thoughts and I don't want to lose them but we only had a minute left so now we're going back to the beginning we're gonna break down some vocals um obviously not my first time hearing her I am always amazed at how many different colors and textures um she used in every single song and so I'm gonna try and Try and break that down a little bit. Uh, here we go. Sometimes 
sometimes, I mean, I've seen a number of, I think a number of performances of this particular song on various clips. Sometimes she uses so much texture and so much grit in this first line, but in this particular performance, it is so smooth and borderline velvety. I mean, it's really cool to hear, especially because I mean, so much vocal fry is coming, so to hear this really warm tone, I love it, I love it. Yeah, his dick will hear same old same Me. Like there, me. She, well, me is a, the M is a voiced consonant, so it's getting the chords vibrating off the bat but then she incorporated a bit of fry um, as soon as she got through that initial sound. I want to listen to me again. It might not have even been fry. It might have been something different. Me. There was, so when she made the, the note shift, there was a tiny bit of fry in that, but then it's like, instead of holding onto the fry, she allowed some separation so some more air could come through. So we got a breath equality. So like within just one word, we had three different sounds. She gave us so much depth and so much richness. And I just, there's so much personality and character in every song, every, every song. And I just, I love the variety we get, but there's also a through line to that character to where as soon as we hear any sound, we can tell, oh yeah, that's Amy Winehouse singing. Even if you don't know the song or you don't, I don't know if it was a cover, whatever it may be, like you can recognize the voice and it was just so distinct. That was, that was actually a really great example of when you think about placement. Um, most of what she did had this nice wide forward placement and occasionally when she took advantage of that back space we got again more variety and more contrast and this line was a good example of that oh wait that might have been it hold on so i think she's saying the word no but even though it's a round slightly more back vowel she's keeping it forward nah so that it's got that that signature sound, that quality that we're used to. great facility for agility as well. I don't, I'm trying to think, I don't know that we heard a ton of it. I'm trying to think fast. I know we heard snippets of that agility in different songs, but I don't know that I ever, I don't know that I can recall any really lengthy runs or riffs. So if you have one in mind, please let me know. But the ability was there. So even though she was known for having so much texture, I like that she didn't shy away from showing some of that agility when the opportunity presented itself. We only the Ooh, and stylistically, just I like when she would say said goodbye, like get through that line faster as opposed to keeping it strictly in time like we heard previously. We only
line again. The way she says, you go back to her. Like, just using words in such a powerful way and not... I think when you are so comfortable in texture, in grit, in other qualities besides a beautiful tone, you there's just so much freedom in in your delivery and in the way you um, communicate and say lines and lyrics. Obviously, I didn't know Amy Winehouse personally, and I know all artists have insecurities, but I feel like you there was just this level of, if not confidence, of understanding. It just seems like she knew what made her unique as an artist and she just dug in and really, really delivered because of that. I don't know. We'll keep going. The only I'm really, I know I'm not saying a lot vocally. Sometimes I just, oh man, it's so hard not to get sucked in because every, I think what I love with this particular song, in its repetition, we get to see how different she made every single word, every single verse, chorus, whatever it may be. Um, even something simple like saying, I go back to, Sometimes she would create two syllables with go o and other times not. Sometimes, again, we got a slightly smoother texture. Other times she really dug in and just let that fry rip. And so it, you can't help but just kind of get sucked in and wonder what's coming next because we're hearing the same words over and over and yet they are so different every time. ascending line again. It was just so powerful and had just so much bite to it. it starts so smooth. Blah. She really kind of like allowed for that backspace and then it just opens up so beautifully. It's so wide. time I love how you can hear that she's saying I go back to black and yet like there were no consonants to be found I just love that
I could talk about her voice for days. But it wasn't just the voice. Her musicality, her performance quality, her songwriting, her style. It's kind of remarkable how how much she contributed to, you know, the landscape of music as we know it today. And I think she did far more to pave the way for a lot of artists than we realize. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.